Hey guys, it's Tobin. Thanks for checking out the channel. Much appreciated. Check out the Tobin and Leroy show weekdays, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Go subscribe to 56WQM's YouTube page as uh, we're live every single weekday for four hours. John Crotty stopped by the show today, did a little game four preview with him as the Miami Heat look to finish the sweep of the Boston Celtics. Couple things. This is not what this main video is about. I want to get into uh, some important news that came up today. But, I mean, here in the Boston Celtics today, uh, some of the quotes. Shouldn't say here. I read read some of the quotes from them about you know don't get don't get, don't let us win tonight. Don't let us get one. Uh, you know chirping that they're going to get this one tonight. Look, dude, maybe you do. I mean, maybe you do. Maybe the Boston Celtics get Game Four tonight. I don't think you will because you guys have shown absolutely zero guts in this entire series. Like no fight whatsoever, especially when the Heat have started making baskets. Like, the, when you guys have gone on runs, Miami Heat have responded right away. When the Celtics go on runs, they shrivel. The When the Heat go on runs, the Celtics shrivel up real quick. So, I just found it laughable seeing some of those quotes. I mean, I guess what else are you going to tell yourself when you're in a situation like this? But it was, uh, I found it amusing. I found it, I found it amusing reading that. I found it amusing reading Malcolm Brogdon say, we still believe we're the better team. Um, all of that stuff has just been hilarious to me because the the thing that Boston's going to go out of go, all we have to do is get one. No, you must get one. That's be, that's the situation you're. In. All we have to do is get one. No, all you have to do is get four in a row to to keep the series going. You must get one to keep the series alive. And then the idea that your consistency is going to go for four straight games, where that hasn't been the case all playoffs. I just found that laughable. I found it really really funny today seeing all the uh, the brassness. The brashness of the uh, the Celtics come out today and uh, try and make it seem like, oh no 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 we we got this we feel confident in ourselves. I'm like, you do really interesting. That's a uh, that's uh, a little bit uh, different than I would think it would be. You know, I guess uh, they're they're harboring back to the Kevin Millar days on the Red Sox, thinking that this is going to be some uh, mystical run. Uh, all right, dude. Well. One thing that was interesting today, something that's actually of substance for teams that will advance in the postseason, and that's Tyler Hero. There was some news today from Ira Winderman that Tyler Hero has been cleared for on-court activities, that he's been cleared for uh, to resume basketball activities. Ira reported today in the Sun Sentinel that uh, Tyler Hero is uh, able to work with his dominant shooting hand again with, uh, and, and just basically start the process of uh, working out and maybe getting back for game action. He, uh, he's been out five weeks uh, come Thursday. That'll be five weeks since his injury. We know it was four to six weeks on recovery for that. Um, you know, We've seen him around some shoot-arounds. He took some left-handed shots. I don't know if he's been working on that, but we know that he had the big cast on and they've been doing some stimulating on it. And so, Boy Wonder could be on the mend uh, with uh, with the NBA Finals looming. If the Heat were to the Heat, are, the, the the Finals are going to start against the Nuggets on June first. So, I don't think it's really relevant as far as like you know practice time or anything like that. Because I'd imagine if the Heat they wrap this up tonight, um, or if it ends up going four, you know you're going to have some time. Um, this is all going to be in the process of Boy Wonder getting himself. Right in the in the ability to come back, I still think this is going to be a tough thing to come back from because you just think about shape, game rhythm, um, you know, not really being able to out, be out there for over a month of playing five on five, uh, you know, and just he's such a you know a rhythm player. He has that touch on his hand. I just think it's a tough thing to come back from. But I will say this: I do think that for the Heat fan, that visceral visceral reaction to him coming back and the idea that if Tyler Hero were to come back he'd screw some things up one I think that's in poor taste and two I don't think it's necessarily true the problem about it is that Tyler Hero doesn't have any real way to defend himself other than going out there and balling out and the other side of the evidence is well since Tyler Hero's been hurt the Miami Heat have been amazing in the playoffs so we could only assume that if he was there they wouldn't be quite as good and I've like this is the thing that I've found Really, this is what I found shitty about it. Okay, the national media was completely wrong about the Miami Heat, right? They have told you this team, you know, doesn't have talent, full of undrafted guys, and then they have to find an explanation for it. And so they think that we have to find what is that X factor as to why the Miami Heat 
are playing this way all of a sudden? Does it have anything to do with Tyler Hero being out? Well, it's like it's not something you can't prove that's not true because most of the evidence with him out has been positive play of the Miami Heat. So you think that 2 plus 2 equals 4, but really you don't know. You don't know. And I think that that's the thing that kind of sucks is that Tyler's getting railroaded in all of this bull crap out there from the podcasters, the national media, even some local media too. And just that the fact that he's not out there means that things would have absolutely been negative if he were to be out there. They wouldn't be this good. Well, it's hard to argue that they would be better. They've been one of the best teams in the postseason. So how could you def- how could you argue the other side of the case? But the thing that's kind of crazy about it is, like, this guy, one of the most talented scorers in the league, yes, still had some playoff stuff to prove. Don't get me wrong. Tyler Hero said that himself. He said that himself. That he knew no matter what he did this regular season, the only thing that mattered is what he did in the postseason. So it's not like Tyler Hero wasn't aware of that, but it's a difference in that Tyler Hero had to prove himself in the playoffs or had some things to prove in this postseason as opposed to he was a detriment to the Heat's success. That's just not true. That's not true. I mean, for a team that wasn't good in scoring and wasn't good at shooting, that guy is good at both of them. And to think that that being infused into this team is going to be a negative is a little bit weird to me. And then comes to the fact of it's like, well, the defense. I mean, how much better has the defense been? It's like, yes, the defense has been good. And Tyler Hero does tend to get picked on on defense. But like in an NBA playoff game, people are going to get picked on on defense. It's just the way that it works. Everybody's looking for switches. Everybody's looking for matchups. Um, it's not like Max Struess isn't looked upon in that way. And yeah, you say Max Drews has been doing a bang-up job. We've seen what he did against Jason Tatum. We've seen that stuff. But you know, Tyler Hero had that big play against Jason Tatum earlier this year in the regular season where he caught a steal and had a big defensive play, and he had the joke afterwards. He goes, well, no, I don't play defense. Um, I just think it's wild. I, I don't understand the Heat fan that's reacting that way to Tyler. Um, it's just a bit strange. You know, the guy is 23 years old. I would have liked to see what he could do in this postseason. Now, I don't think he should come back. If he comes back, I don't think he should start. I don't think he earns his job back right away. I do think that the best way to go about it is to have him, if he can do anything, which, again, I think is a bit of a long shot. But if he can do anything, I do think that being a spark off the bench, having that offensive talent, having that offensive punch to see that guy get off and and have a a, a crazy run or getting on a crazy – we know, as Spo says, the word ignitable. We know how ignitable he can be. Uh, Tyler's always been a good rebounder. We know the chemistry that he has with Bam. He's been a, a hell of a guy, you know, setting up in that pick and roll, those lobs that he could set to Bam. Um, so that stuff's grown in his game. I don't know, man. Like, I, don't, I, I, I just don't understand why it's got to – people did this with Dwayne Wade, believe it or not, all the time. We're like, Dwayne Wade would miss some time. They'd do maintenance program during the regular season, and the heat looked a little bit cleaner. Like, the ball was free-flowing, and – People would always do this thing, hashtag without Wade. It was a thing in Twitter. And I just thought it was dumb because, like, you'd think that without the talent of Dwayne Wade, you're in a better spot. I don't – you don't think that they'd be able to figure it out with Wade. You don't think that Eric Spolstra, the the kind of coach that Eric Spolstra is, you don't think that he could figure out how to use Tyler Hero to the best of his abilities? I don't know, man. And especially, especially with a lot of this – postseason run having the brashness, the 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 swagger that the Miami Heat have played with. I think that's stuff that also plays into Tyler Hero's hands. So I don't know, man. I, I just haven't liked the reaction to that because I kind of think most of me feels like Tyler Hero is getting blamed um or being used as the reason why the media was wrong about the Miami Heat. And They have to find a reason, so they say, well, Tyler Hero isn't there. That's the reason that they are where they are. No. I think, if anything, you could say, wow, how amazing that the Heat have been able to do this even still without Tyler Hero. Um, Have other guys had to step up? Caleb Martin without Tyler Hero there? Have we seen maybe another growth offensively for him? I can't discount that. I think that there's probably some truth to that, that that Caleb Martin has gotten to blossom a little bit more, having the ball in his hands and flourishing. Um, You know, same thing with Gabe Vincent. But 
you know, it's not like we didn't know that these guys were already growing in their game while Tyler was here. And if you didn't, you just weren't watching the team. So I don't know, man. I I, I think that it's great news that Tyler Hero's on the mend. I still think this is a, a, a tough turnaround to expect him to drop in the to the to the highest stakes. I remember last year where Tyler Hero was banged up in the Eastern Conference Finals. He was ready for that game seven and just really wasn't quite himself. And then thought, like, you know, if he got back for the finals, he would have been all the way back if they would have made it that way. I remember asking him about that afterwards of the season. You know, it just is, it's one of those things. Like, nothing but positive vibes have been going on with this Heat team. And so, to think that just because this guy's been out, that that's been the buoy for why everything's been great, I think is a little bit of a, I think it's not only a little bit of a reach, I think it's quite the reach. And I know, like, you know, I don't know. I'm, this could be something, could be nothing. But Tyler Hero did post on Instagram today. I believe these kids call these uh, Drake lyrics. And he put, uh, I don't know if this means anything, doesn't mean anything. Take for what it is. But he put, a lot of people going bad on me. Please, one at a time. The kids say this is a Drake song. I don't know. But is he saying something there? Like, oh, people are, you know, speaking bad on my name. You know, we get the news today that he is coming back. And I see people on Twitter like, no, don't come back. We don't need him. But, 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 like, that's your reaction to that? You're getting a, a six man of the year candidate, could be ready for any type of basketball and help you give you some punch against a very, very good Denver Nuggets team. You know, task at hand. But that's a possibility. And you think that's a, your reaction to that is to be like, uh, 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 be disgusted by that? You know, I, I, I don't, I don't know. I think that's, I think that's the, I don't agree with it. I don't think that's the uh, the right attitude towards have it. And by the way, I think that the more firepower you can have, the better. I typically subscribe to that. The more talent that you can have, the better. And I don't think that Tyler Hero is going to be stealing the ball from Jimmy Butler at the end of games. We know Jimmy Butler is going to get the game is going to get the ball at the end of games. I think that if you have a night where if Struz isn't shooting it the way he is, if Duncan isn't shooting the way, if you had the option of Tyler Hero, you wouldn't. What are we talking about? I mean, I mean, like, like that's 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 a detriment. And I'm not saying those guys can't keep going in, in their in their positive directions. I get it. the uh, the The team is playing pristine right now. Who could argue with it, right? Look at their record. Look at how they're playing. Look at how people have stepped up for this team. But that doesn't mean that just because Tyler Hero is gone that that's all of the reason for it. Um, there have been some side effects of Tyler being out that have been positive. You know, and I think mostly it's been, wow, look how much we can get out of Kayla Martin. Look how much we can get out of Gabe Vincent. Look at Duncan Robinson find his stroke again. I think all of those things are side effects of Tyler Hero being hurt, but they're not it's not because Tyler Hero's gone, those guys play better. Um so yeah, man. I think that it's it's great news that he is back. I don't know if he's going to be able to help, if, if he's going to have the time or if time's going to run out on this year. You know that he had a lot of hopes that this postseason was going to be a place where he could prove some things, but it's also not like Tyler Hero. Tyler Hero's got his contract. It's not like Tyler Hero needed this postseason to prove something to um, to to cement his his money. He's got that. I think the guy just wants to contribute to winning. And uh, And call me crazy. I think in some, I think there'll probably be a spot if he is healthy. There might be a spot where he could, you know. I would, would you know, call me nuts, but a guy who was hitting a lot of clutch shots for the Heat, the 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 most clutch team this year, right? Guy who had a lot of those clutch baskets was Tyler Hero. Boy Wonder was coming through in the clutch. You know, the guy, the guy has giant grapefruits. No matter what, will shoot it, um, even if things aren't going well. I, I was very curious to see what Tyler Hero was going to be able to do this postseason. If there's a chance he can come back, I think that's a good thing, not a bad thing. 